we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one in your need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Aquarius, so let's go ahead and jump into this. So what I was getting off camera is some of you are concerned about a work situation. You're concerned about are you on the chopping block or will you be on the chopping block? It says keep your head down, do what you're supposed to be doing. Higher up superiors, people you know in the higher position than you see you, your hard work and what you're putting out. And um, you, you're gonna come out unscathed, okay? You're gonna come out victorious. Just keep your head down, keep to yourself also at this time and everything is going to bypass you but there are going to be some cuts some changes some loss there all right let's see thank you god for blessing aquarius with a clear concise message from you all right what's going on for aquarius right now what's going on for aquarius right now it's going to be everything from family to job to love we're just going to just see what is happening for aquarius right now okay so the magic mirror so we've got the moon showing up for you the moon could be significant for you in terms of, you know, you just kind of feel like it's foggy right now or you feel foggy right now. You don't know, you know, where is this going? Where is where, where is the universe taking me? What is what is happening here? Um, you could also psychic abilities being heightened at this time for you. Like you just the awareness is there for you. Maybe your senses, your, you know, touch, taste, smell. They could be even heightened in terms of your psychic abilities and your awareness. Uh, the full moon could be significant for you coming up um, the full moon could be significant for you there could be some hidden elements or hidden enemy or something that is contrary to you or what you want or what you deserve or what's going on with you okay so there is something hidden behind the veil you can't see it though uh, all is not to be revealed unto you right now says the moon card you just kind of got to go with the flow you got to go with the flow of the of the moon um, there could even be some suppression here. Maybe you're suppressing how you really feel, what's really going on with you, or there's something in regards to, you know, somebody else is doing it in regards to you, suppressing how they really feel, what they really want to say, you know, what, what the situation is between you. It could be with uh, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo. Um, someone could be looking in on you because there's like a, a mirror here with eyes. Someone could be looking in on you. I don't feel like they're in direct um, like they're in alignment with you. They're like maybe enemy to you. Enemy doesn't mean that they're going to come to your door, you know, guns are blazing. They could just be not for you, adverse to you. They don't want the best for you. They don't care for you, but they're still looking in on you. Okay. Um, Decepticons is what I just heard. All right. So let's see what's going on here in terms of Aquarius deluge so maybe you're coming out of some type of a delusion um the tower all of a sudden you know something is revealed they're coming out of the tower. see these people had you know maybe built up a tower so you couldn't see what was going on especially with the moon car here but something's going to be revealed to you maybe by way of spirit by dreams write down your dreams also you got some friends or old friends or who you call friends. They're kind of looking in on you, spying on you. Uh, they want to be your friend again, but they're really frenemy to you. Um, 
you're going to find out maybe by way of spirit. Again, dreams could be significant. Whomever you're dreaming about right now, whether if they're in your life actively or they're inactive in your life, these people may be contrary to you, okay? So they're not for you. So you may dream about them. You may say, oh, it's because, you know, um, they want to talk to me or I hadn't talked to them. Or you, you may think it's of a good nature, but it might not be. Just might not be. Um, yeah, so uh, keep that in mind. This could be somebody that um, you were, like, in cahoots with, a partnership with, like, um, it worked out. There was like a friendship element to it at, at one time. Again, you got some people wanted to have maybe reconciliation with you, but they don't want to have true reconciliation. They don't want to talk about the things that happened between the two of you, uh, why things broke up or broke down. They just want to be maybe more so reunion with you. They just want to see you again, hang out with you again, maybe under false pretense too. And you go find out who these people are. Uh, they have historical value in your life. And maybe you you fell out with this person or these people, okay? Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. I know that Les Barons, okay, so the wild card. So they want to just come into your life um, with no structure, no real reason, no real intention. Just come on, let's hang out, let's do. This could even be a lover, a past lover. You know, they're coming in with the smokes and the drinks and the maybe they're trying to be low vibrational or they're still in low vibrational energy. They want to see if you are, if you're down for it, if you're up for it. This could even be a test, a challenge of the universe. Let's see. Um, what else is happening for Aquarius? Yeah, okay, the death card. This is definitely a relationship that ended of some sort. Um, whether it was romantic, platonic, familiar, whatever. The relationship ended and um, maybe somebody wants to revive it. They want to relive it, okay? They want to bring it back from the dead. Mm. Um, maybe you might be even dealing with somebody that does like necromancy. These people look like they are from the dead. Look, these are people who still sleepwalking, who are not enlightened, who are not aware of, you know, you know they're all things sex, drugs, rock and roll here. Um, They want to see if they can drag you down to where they are or they can just revive the relationship because they're in this energy. Maybe they want a, a fun partner. Again, this is somebody that you were like maybe in cahoots with, in partnership with. It was fun at one time. Maybe you've, you've risen above that. And they just want to see like, oh, is Aquarius still on that? Or this is what Aquarius is doing. I don't know. Get in where you fit in. Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius. <laughs> the three of swords can't make this stuff up so this is somebody that you have not talked to or you're not talking to or communication is you know lack or little to none yeah little to none oh with the three of swords here um libra coming up um this is somebody who maybe you had to stop dealing with them because there's like a third party stirring up trouble or you were a part of a third party situation or it was always trouble. It was always misunderstanding, miscommunication, misrepresentation of. Um, with the Three of Swords, it was just like um, it was a misfire altogether. Uh, it, it, it hurt the heart. It was heartache or heartbreak. Or what they did to you was heartbreaking. Let's see. Um, what is going on for Aquarius right now? Nine of Pentacles, very nice. So you're in the energy of learning about self. Maybe you have time, energy, money stored up to where you can study spirituality. You can study about self. Um, you're receiving a lot of packages, downloads, messages. You're keeping people away from your heart space right now, maybe because you're healing. Um, it's not that you'll be in this way or in this energy forever, but right now it is what it is. Um, you're kind of the lone wolf or you live alone, or you like it. Um, you could be a savvy business owner. You could be a business owner. You could be thinking of how to get your business off the ground. Um, you have all that you need. You know, you've done the work. Um, you could be in retirement, okay? Um, let's see what is happening for Aquarius right now. Okay, very nice. The Fool card. So letting something new develop in your life. You know, just it is what it is. You know, accepting yourself, respecting yourself. Uh, respecting your dreams because this talks about going after your dreams even if others feel like oh that's a pipe dream oh that's never going to happen that's not going to work or that's too convoluted or that's just too you confusing me oh you know whatever you're going after it here with the fool card here um you're not letting it slip through your fingers the world egg here it's just like you're really 
um, going to embark on this. It says that you have the protection of the universe, okay? Beginner's luck showing up for you, Aquarius. It's just that some of you are just like fun, fabulous, and you really don't even know it or you really haven't really leaned into it. It's like you're not conceited in regards to knowing that you're, you know, maybe you're, you aesthetically look really good. You know, you are, you take care of your body or you look young for your age or you just, you know, it is what it is, you know. Um, you don't allow that to go to your head and this, this makes you even more attractive. What else is going on for Aquarius at this time? What's happening for the Aquarius? I have smiles is what I heard. Okay, so the Knight of Swords here. Um, you could be changing jobs. Yeah, definitely. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Focus on something. Focus on, like, tunnel vision on it, on seeing it through, okay? Maybe even learning something. At this, at this time, you're learning so much, you know, you just, you can't, you can't even be around people who are dead and sleeping and who are like sleepwalking to themselves firstly and then to everything else in life you, you know it, it it vexes your soul to be around that the, it talks about the knight of swords um they have very zero tolerance for stupidity it is a word it's in the dictionary you should never be offended by the word stupid or stupidity if you are hit dogs holler okay so anyhow the Knight of Swords is, you know, it's vexed by stupidity, by people who just don't want to know, don't want enlightenment, don't want to grow, don't want to learn. Okay. So you might be kind of in that energy of, I, I can't be around that, you know? Um, and it's not that you're going to call it out and make a scene that somebody is stupid and blah, 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 whatever, or just unlearn. It's just more so I don't want to be around it. You know, um, with the Knight of Swords coming out, it could be a bit arrogance also. And so it says, check your, check yourself with the Knight of Swords. But you know, I guess with the increase of knowledge with the Nine of Pentacles, I mean, any person would kind of feel that way. Like I, I just don't want to be around that, or I, I, I can't tolerate it. You know, I have very, very low tolerance for it. Okay. Um, what else is happening? Yeah. Okay. So the Three of Cups. So success, victory, whatever you're doing, you're about to have victory at it, Aquarius. Um, success, triumph, victory. So you're overcoming something and you're going to be victorious um, amongst a lot. People are going to see you amongst a group, a crowd, a crowd of people, um, maybe even your community, your siblings, your family, the people you choose to be around. You're going to persevere, um, have a lot going for yourself. Um, it says commercial success. So something's going to be big, major. You know, it's going to touch a lot of different people. It says that whatever you're doing, you should be doing it because, again, success is coming to you. There could even be somebody maybe um, trying to come back to you or wanting to come back to you or feeling, they're just feeling like you're the one that got away or vice versa. You feel this way about someone. And, and, and they, they understand that if they want to come back to you, they got to do something big, monumental, like, a proposed marriage or propose that we live together and have a baby or get a dog or buy a house or whatever or you feel that way too like you know it can't be something small um because we've we, we've got too much history in to be dealing with small and that's how you feel all right let's see okay very very nice marie laveau so the high priestess here um intuitive awareness okay so you're aware by way of your intuition you're listening to your intuition and you trust it because you've learned how to kind of hone in and factor in on. You've learned how to trust your intuition. You've learned that, you know, um, God is not the God of confusion. So therefore, when there rest, when, when confusion rests with you, you know what that is. Um, you know how to dispel it, okay? Dispel it. So get it, get it away. You know what words to speak to get it away from you. Because you don't rest in confusion. You rest in complete serenity, solidarity in your mind and your intuition. Some of you could work from home or this is what you want to do. You do some type of record keeping, bookkeeping, or you're keeping something, keeping record of maybe the spells that you do. Um, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. You're keeping record of something or you've kept record of. You could be like a shopkeeper, salon keeper, or something like that, or you have a salon, or you want to get into that, or you want to further it, or you want to bring more people into it. 
um, right now you're not dating or you don't have anybody like serious that you date she is most times like celibate um the chaste woman like she's not having sexual activity at this time and this was was making her extremely you know um uh, uh, desirable irresistible to those around her this is somebody that can go to the grocery store and get a hundred looks from babies you know old people young people and everything because there's an energy about this person okay what's going on for the Aquarius at this time very nice queen of swords I like those two coupled together so some of you are using your um, your words communication um, direct or directness to uh, okay to speak life into or to help or to help people sever the tie or you're giving advice people could come to you because you're a wise woman here with the um, night excuse me with the uh, Empress not the Empress Lord I'm all over the place okay maybe the Empress is coming up next with the high priestess and the queen of swords so you use your intuition to give best advice maybe real world advice you listen to others you may be guiding people you got people under you maybe at work or wherever you do you got people coming to you to get guidance advice advisement um you've been through a lot therefore you've honed in or studied or uh, you know um you have um, strengthened your intuition here. There's something that you've done or you are doing. Um, you've also cut away all things that don't serve the new you, the new life, the new, new, new. You can't take the old with you. You kind of cut that away. You're done. Um, you could be an executive or you, you look like money too. You know, she looks like royalty, the queen of swords. Or he looks like royalty, queen of swords. Whether you got it or you don't. You know, you look like it. All right, let's see what's going on for the Aquarius. Moving forward, what is happening for Aquarius? Um, the two of swords. What you don't see on the other side of this is tectonic breach. Like something big, major success happening for you. Okay. Um, you don't see that there could be reunion or reconciliation happening. Um... You don't have to work on your negotiation skills, okay, and what, you're, what you will compromise and what you will not. Some of you are questioning yourself about cutting off some loved one, whether it was romantic, platonic, familiar, whatever. You, you like, should I have done that? If you get to do that, the cards say yes, six of swords. Move on from the headache of a previous relationship. The, the best way to make something better is to chart a new path. Um, reconciliation in this card too so reconciliation doesn't mean that we're gonna come together and we're gonna run off into the sunset um to reconcile especially with the um high priestess card is just to if you look up the word if you actually you know define reconciliation it's to go over the account of or the accounts so you're gonna go over something you know and maybe try to make sense of it if you don't, you'll agree to disagree and go your separate ways or stay together. But reconciliation isn't always that we, we, we're going to come back together and be together. It's just that if you and I disagree, right, and we just left it at a disagreement, and then we have reconciliation, let's say, next month. So when we sit down, we're going to go over what happened in that disagreement. What I said, what you said, what led up to it. And we're going to try to find some happy medium. It's going to be that either we're going to be friends or we're not. But we had reconciliation. And that's what reconciliation is. So don't always, you know, it's not always like, oh, we're going to, you know, run off into the sunset and we get married and you know, just have a talk. And, and that's what you need. You need true reconciliation. And it's confessing your shortcomings. That's what we would do if we sat down. We're gonna, I'm gonna confess what I said or did or wouldn't do, or didn't do, and you're gonna do the same. Boom. Um, all right, let's see. So some of you, you may be questioning if you should reconcile with somebody. Um, maybe yeah, you can have a talk with them, but you might have to choose to move on. Yep. Close the door. The carnival. So this is over. It's completely over. Um, the world. 
close that door. Write a new chapter. You learn your lesson here. What What are you doing? You know, you're holding up. You know, this is um. This is bending of space and time. It's like going to a new timeline. Okay, if you allow yourself to do so, the universe is like, look, we can take you beyond this, or you can stay here and go through the same thing. Because I don't think anybody um that you're trying to reconcile with is going to give you anything different than what they've already given you. Get the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are really developing your clear audience, clear, clairvoyance, clear, all them clairs. Okay. So you're really developing your psychic abilities at this time. And you're trying to, you know, be more emotionally mature, stable, um, there could be somebody who wants to be romantic with you, take you out or say nice things. Or some of you could be in the beauty and fashion industry. Maybe you're trying to tap into what's going to be the next trend. Or maybe you've already started a new trend in beauty and fashion uh, industry here. Um, you could be the face of or someone's trying to make you the face of or you're the, in the running. So maybe you're up for. Okay, you get two... Um, you got two pages. Be cautious of... So you, we just talked about you already were like questioning, cutting something or somebody off. Be cautious of starting premature because you got two pages that come up and talks about false start. So be cautious of going back and um, starting something prematurely. You also may have two people looking in on you. What is this seven of swords with the two pages? You could be learning something secret. You're getting secret occult knowledge behind the scenes. You're doing something with herbs and let me see. Okay. We've got main male showing up for you. So we've got Maybe some man here is looking in on you. Well, yep, there's the community there. So we got these two pages where maybe there's somebody who, there's a, a few somebody's wanting to come back to you. They're spying on you. They're looking at you, social media, asking about you, trying to look you up. There's somebody who didn't really want to commit to you, but y'all have like boyfriend, girlfriend type of, activities but they didn't really want to commit they were out for themselves with this being a one card they were solo they really didn't want a commitment they may have even had other people um in you guys as a relationship let's get aquarius some advice and then we close out what's the advice for aquarius here what is the advice for aquarius what is the advice for Aquarius? This is a really good reading. Um, looks like a big situation of maybe you're going to be um, in the spotlight. You got a lot of people coming back to you. Friends, family, countrymen, Roman. You, know, you got everybody trying to, you know, resurface. Yeah, the hangman. Uh, sacrifice. Maybe you sacrifice something or you will. It says just hang in there. Hang around. Don't do too much. Don't be involved in too much. Everything and everybody's going to show their hand to you eventually. Also, this talks about letting go of an ex, you know, the thoughts of an ex. You got to really sacrifice that or that relationship. You also need to ask yourself, why haven't I had what I really want? I, I, I. Why haven't I had what I really want? So it's a part that you play in this. What did you do? What did you not do? What did you sacrifice or... Um, it also talks about being the contortionist. So, you know, tying yourself up in balls and knots so that you can make something work. You know, um, you don't have to do that. Take the path of least resistance. You know, if, if you got to do all of that to be with somebody, cut it off. If they're not willing to, I mean, like, no, no. Most times you find it's, that's all, that's one-sided. Both parties aren't trying to, do all these different maneuvers to be with each other. It's just one person doing that. And the other person is just let, you know, sitting back with their feet kicked up and letting the other person just do all of this stuff. Um, so you might need to sacrifice, you know, um, 
also being like somebody's booty call, hanging around, waiting for them. Um, don't you, you're so much more. I mean, unless you you're in that energy and there's no judgment there, but know what you're getting yourself into. All right, the King of Swords, yeah. So, um, authority. Um, you might have been dealing with somebody who they could, they could be like the eternal bachelor. Like I could forever be single. I'll have relations, but I don't want to be like having a relationship, the white picket fence, the 2.5 kids. No, 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 none of that. But I will have a relation with you. Or, um, this person likes like to have people waiting, hanging on them, hanging in there. Like, Hey girl, I'm in town or Hey guy, I'm in town. So let's hang out. Um, the, and that's the authority of the whole situation. It's like you, you have the upper hand. It's like I call them and tell them that, you know, I just touched down and whatever. Um, what else am I getting from this? With the hangman authority figure in your life. Also, you need to be the authority. Maybe you've given your power over to something. You need to take it back with the king of swords. Let's see what else. High standards. Some of you have really high standards. You might need to sacrifice some of these high standards so you can get somebody. Okay. Could be dealing with a uh, Scorpio, Capricorn, Libra, maybe a Gemini, okay. Pisces. Um, yeah, you got some real high standards, right? Um, you might have to... With it coming out with the hangman, you can sacrifice one or two of those, you know. Um, just figure out what are your non negotiables, like you can't negotiate on that, um, and then what are not, you know. And maybe you might have to come down a bit. You had a three of swords, um, you're not getting the outcome that you want, you're just getting, you know, cut or, or something cutthroat, or somebody was cutthroat, or you need to be cutthroat, or third party situation because somebody's heart is closed to love they don't want love they want you know connection domination um they want things their way they want to be the authority in regards to how you guys deal with one another the three of swords um lack of communication or little to no communication so this is somebody who maybe left you hanging always kept you hanging around they would come back not even communicating with you with the three of swords this is definitely like a third party situation what is the advice here you might need to leave this where it is divorce it separate from it be done with it um some of you somebody's worried about money in terms of a divorce also like i'm not sure if i can divorce if i can afford a divorce yeah and the eight of wands can be dealing with the sagittarius you don't have to be um so Something stops with the Three of Swords. And then there's movement. The Eight of Wands. Like, so something stops. And then there's obstacles being removed. With the Eight of Wands. What is this? What is the Eight of Wands? I knew it was coming out. Damn it. So um, the Devil and the Eight of Wands. So look. This is how it reads. All right, so somebody want to keep you as a third party, hanging around, you know, hook up when I'm in town or whenever I have time for you, um, blah, 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 whatever. You may have cut off communication with this person with the three of swords or you just let it be. You know, they don't want you like that. It is what it is. Or maybe you're divorcing or you're going to serve papers or papers got served. Somebody saw that you're serious and now they're hell bent on getting you back. With the devil and the eight of wands here, it's like they're obsessed with pulling you back in, reeling you back into this cycle, into, into the chain. Maybe you broke the chain here. A, a, back to getting your authority back, you know. Um, you're dealing with people on your terms. You do how you want to do. You divorce something. You don't have to do it how they want you to do it, and you're not. Or you don't have to be in some connection how somebody wants you to be in the connection here, and you're not. And now they're obsessed um, infatuated with um, this burning passion to get you to come out and play. Sometimes the devil talks about playfulness, childishness. It talks about choices also, extravagance. It talks about entrapment. 
to come out and play. I like you. I love you. I want to have sex with you. Come out and play. And somebody just wants you back in that same cycle there. This could even be temptation, if you will. Somebody wants, so this flipped and reversed the three of swords. So somebody wants you to come out of not talking to them, not giving them attention. They don't like the lack of communication. And they're just yelling energetically. Come out and play, okay? Um, yeah, six of wands. They may even want to string you along, you know, the six of wands, okay? Propose something to you, but never act on it. They don't like the fact that you chose yourself. You decided to go in a new direction. You decided to, you know, um, again, bet on self, take the higher road. Um, you decided to strut off, you know, you walked off strutting your stuff. You, you won by not playing because you got somebody here who wants to play with you. Keep in mind the eights are cyclical, a cycle, a circle, like this pillow, a circle, right? So if you continue to go in a circle, you just hit the same point. Versus going in a straight line, you're going to hit, you can go to the moon, you know? So um, somebody wants to keep you in the circle, keep you in the loop, in the chain, right? The devil card, the traditional deck, those people are chained. So somebody wants to keep you on the chain. Uh, and they would do anything, say anything with the six of wands to keep you stuck there, believing um, that it's going to be more than uh, that. Yeah, girl, I really like you. Or, yeah, guy, I really, really like you. Um, somebody also wanted to take your money or keep you having to pay in too, because the devil can sometimes be about indebted to. What's the energy for the future? Whoa, Aquarius. Let's see what is the energy for the future. Whoa, high honor. Very nice. Whatever you're doing, you're going to be recognized, recognition for it. For what you do especially if you're feminine energy or you're in your feminine energy you're in a very creative space here whoa journey you're on a new journey a new trajectory this could even be spiritual journey this is going up this is not circle circular energy this is up 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 you know straight straight up in a way right this is um maybe betting on yourself being by yourself being the chase woman the high priestess is the two card and she's two so um and if you're a man out there, you're just going to be by yourself and you're going to start to listen to your intuition a little bit more. You're going to kind of tap it to both sides. And same for my women. You're going to, you know, maybe start something, be in your masculine energy, and you're going to bring it to fruition. You're going to institute something. You're going to, you know, have that drive to see something through. And you're going to be on this journey. You may even be taking a trip. You may be asked to travel. You may be on stages. Um, there's some big as... Um, opportunity monumental coming to you maybe from a mature man somebody who wants to work with you has an opportunity for you could be a like-minded individual they can bring you a lot of um, insight he's got all these books behind him um, you could be maturing in your knowledge base also okay this could be like indicative of the hierophant so you're picking up books you're reading you're learning you just want to bring more to whatever you do whatever platform you're in there could be some message of concern, maybe from an older woman or someone trying to keep you in some type of low vibration, or they want to have a new start with you, or they do, want to do something petty with you, or, or they're childish. What is this about? This could even be a mother figure or an older sister woman. I don't know. It's, it could even be that somebody is not in the best health. Ooh, maybe financially. They might need your help with adjudication could be in your family while wow. after that family room okay so this could be an older woman you could be getting a call about an older woman just not in the best health here this woman whomever this is they have help in their home okay so they may have a caregiver you could be their caregiver or you know the caregiver very well you could be getting message phone call um that somebody is in poor health okay because look health they're in bad health and then they're in poor. Jesus Christ. Um, so bad health and then poor or poverty. They're in poor health. Okay? Whomever this is. It could be sister, mother, grandmother. All of the family will gather. Okay? There might even be some type of um, paperwork that needs to be signed. Okay? Everybody's going to be talking about it. Or there's going to be, this looks like, um, I hope that this is old age for someone. 
and, and this looks like funeral, you know, everybody coming together for that. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, that, that would be the best uh, outcome for that. If, you know, someone's had a long life and now they're choosing to transition. Um, so, uh, but yeah, it looks like, or this is, looks like someone is saying, hey, you know, let's talk about what to do about our ailing, you know, loved ones, bad health. What, what, what should we do? Should we take them off life support or should we do this? Or should they be put in hospice? Or, yeah, so somebody could be you know, a message. This is good news coming to you also um, with the message card there. Maybe from an official person. So you can get some official news. This is about business. This is like, yes, no, maybe. Um, this isn't like a speech. I got death card. This could be your father giving you news about maybe a death in the family or um, somebody is transitioning or what to do. It brings you fortune in a new pathway. Maybe even a new house, new marriage. What the hell? Oh, okay, so scratch death. Some of you, the death is going to be some official person comes into your life. Maybe you get a message that you need to hang out with somebody or you go hang out or you meet somebody while you're out, right? You meet, this is gonna be your person, okay? And um, they take you from a place of singlehood down this new journey of um, great fortune. They could be like wealthy in marriage. And yeah, a new relationship or a new house, just new digs all together. It could happen by your birthday. 17 is the star card in the two row. Since the next holiday, you can meet somebody. There's, there's still somebody here. Um, in your thoughts. Or they, yeah, in your thoughts. Or, or uh, they're thinking of you of the relationship and, the, and it's happening a lot for them and they may even want to come to you they're not in the best place you may get an unexpected message from this person but it's all about pettiness and maybe keeping you in the same vibration as you know like a third party situation or they just want to get you back occupied on them this could be like an energy harvesting type of person. Like, oh, I miss the Aquarius loving energy. You know, let me get them back focused on me. But that, it doesn't look like they have much to offer you. It looks like you might meet somebody new if you're ready for that. If you just broke up a week ago, a day ago, two hours ago, and you're talking about where's my soulmate, you know, just to be realistic, it's probably they're nowhere to be found right now. You need to give yourself some time, and then everything will happen for you, right? Um, but if you know you've done the work, you know, you've been single long enough, you're ready for a commitment, you're ready for a relationship, this is what you've been praying about, you've been steadfast on it, you've been doing the work that the universe spirit has been telling you to do, this could be for you. But those of you who are also serial dating, I know I'm about to step on some toes, you're about to unsubscribe, it's cool, it is what it is. Serial dating, whether it is woman or man, you've got a rotation of men, a rotation of women, no, soulmate is not coming in. You got to clear. Be by self. Be by yourself. Be by yourself. And, and then allow for the universe to work with you. You know, if you really want to get this twin flame and soulmate and all that type of, you know, love. So you got to work on yourself. You might not even be ready for it. Okay. So, um. Yeah, I know. I'm stepping on toes. I know everybody serial dates nowadays, and it is what it is. But that's why we're not getting the outcomes that we want, because if it doesn't happen with Joey, then I've got Danny over here. And if it doesn't happen with Mary, I got Susie. And what type of energy is that? The universe just lets you be. Like, well, you got a handle. You got a rotation going. Good luck with that. 
so clear. Learn how to be by yourself. Wake up by yourself. Go to sleep by yourself. Go to the park by yourself. Take yourself to a restaurant. Take yourself to the movies. Pick up a book. Read it. Learn about self. Learn about love. What's your love? How do you love? This is the healing process. But nobody wants to do it because it's, you know, it's a process, right? We want it now, 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 now. So anyway, um, Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I'll leave you with three cards. What's coming in for the Aquarius? Good news for the Aquarius. Good news for the Aquarius. Um, in this reading, yes, somebody had you as a third party or had you as a third party. Some of you have taken your energy back, which is a good thing. Keep doing so. Keep going through the healing process. Now that you're taking your energy back, they want you back. They might do something to try to recover you and the relationship, but they want it the same way that it was. They don't want anything different. So keep that in mind. This is just a recap of, of the reading. And for some of you, you get somebody coming in who might be your, um, your, your marriage partner, okay? Especially if you know you've done the work. Wow. Y'all see how it flipped out? And look, heal, heal, heal. Healing is the answer. I know somebody out there, they're like, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. <laughs> nobody, nobody wants to get there. <laughs> like, you, do you mean to tell me I broke up two hours ago and I'm not going to find my soulmate next week? No. I can't make it up. All right. Um, someone is currently being used and they know it, whether it's you, Aquarius, or someone that you're dealing with, you know that they're being used. Someone is just addicted to love. That's not a good thing to be addicted to because you're always searching for it. When you get it, you're just holding on to it, even though, you know, if someone's addicted to your love, Aquarius, we saw the devil in the eight of wands. Someone's just addicted to your energy. Like, I gotta have the Aquarius back because they used to do this and they do that and they say these good things to me and they feed my vibration, they feed my ego, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I need it back. Mention, you know, think about, I didn't mention anything about this person saying they're going to give you anything back or there will be exchange happening. They just need you back, Aquarius, so keep that in mind. Yeah, someone that may even have a sexual addiction, whether it be you, Aquarius, or um, another person, someone else that you're dealing with. So um, these are just not good things, you know. Um, you kind of got to just live with it and move on and know that you're going to vibe higher and you're going to find higher could be some type of same-sex connection that you're in, okay? So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Um, many blessings to you. Um, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout, okay? And um, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night doing a collective reading and answering your questions. Uh, what else, what else, what else? If you're a business-minded individual, you want to be around other like-minded people come and join the monthly conference call the ktmg keep the momentum going monthly conference call okay um where you get spiritual and practical advice as to how to start maintain or grow your business okay and um if you just want to hop on a discovery call a discovery call a discovery call with me to see if i'm a good fit for you if you're a good fit for me and in regards to starting your own business or maintaining your business or the growth of your business, then go ahead. Discovery calls are complimentary. Schedule your call. All links are below. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.